but there's been a lot of questions recently about the casting cannons. As you can see, I've got mine offset 90 degrees in my rig. When you first put the casting cannon on, how I learned to do it is I, I just mount it basically right above the reel, put it off 90 degrees, and I use electrical tape to tighten it up or at least connect it to the rod and then I've got a, a zip tie to hold it tight. All right, we're gonna talk about how we set up our casting cannon to cast, but I'm going to go ahead and lift it up with my thumb. I'm gonna take my shock leader, which is a 40 pound braid. It's not required, I just like it. But I'll do like four to five wraps around the cannon itself. I'm gonna press down and then I'm going to release the bale and I'm gonna give it a cast. I will cast probably about a 70% cast and I should get a pretty good result. And just with the release of the finger. I think the key with the casting cannon is you just gotta work on your timing. You gotta figure out at the right Part of your cast when to let go and just just a little bit of practice but i think it'll work out well for you give it a try it certainly is uh beneficial to prevent your fingers from getting lacerated or just allows you to cast with as much strength as you want and not be limited by uh, potentially your braid cutting your finger all right we just talked about the uh the benefits of the casting cannon to uh to recap i use a 20 pound braid on my main line and when I started fishing with that, it was cutting my fingers. And the longer I'm out and my fingers get wet, the more lacerations I would take on my fingers. I started using a Band-Aid, but the Band-Aids would always fly off. I could use a casting glove. I just don't like always putting it on, putting it off. The casting cannons are on the rod. I can use it, not use it. But uh, just showed you how I use it, five wraps, and then just work on your timing. But I feel like I can, I can really sling it out there when I have to or I can just do a nice, easy cast and I don't worry about any finger lacerations. Hope this benefit helps.